Hey everybody, Star here. What is going on? And today we are looking at match number three on King of the Hill Lakeside for the TF2 mix-up number five. And this is a charity event gathering a whole bunch of cool different people just to do this for charity. And the charity is Doctors Worldwide, a league of extraordinary medics. And I've got Salamancer today with me to help me cast this match. It's gonna be a fun time. The last two maps were pretty hilarious fun. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so if you haven't seen them yet, of course, PL Upward and the other one was King of the Hill Viaduct. This one looks like it's probably gonna be Lakeside, but here, if you if you need to pause it right now, go ahead and check out the the names, the teams. These are these are some pretty pretty big luminaries on YouTube. I gotta say. Yeah, they did the introduction for them all on the first match. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen the other ones, you should probably start from the beginning, get a little bit more of an introduction to what exactly is going on here. But we are kicking it off right now, getting underway. This is Lakeside, a King of the Hill map where you need to capture the point on the middle and hold it for as long as possible. We have a Demo Man battle going on in the middle already from the very start. And we can see the scouts trying to get on the point right now and see if they can get something done. Yes, sir. Uh, looks like right now Red Team doing pretty well there as they have uh, they've not lost a single player yet. Finally, Day 9, the first man to die on his team, but it looks like they've gotten a lot of kills. Uh, Jig going for the kill on the Pyro, though, and that's got to be embarrassing as a Pyro to get killed by your, your natural prey, the spy. Yeah, during all these matches, I do have to say that Jig has been doing pretty well. He's showing up behind the team a lot, getting a lot of backstabs, making sure he can kill as many people as possible. Unfortunately, he put a dent into him, but Red Team has still mostly captured the point right now. Well, some, some nice critical hits coming out, but Bank gets a nice kill on Lewis, and he is not done yet either. Star, looks like you got a kill. The point not captured yet, and in fact, Blue Team doing a pretty good job of reverting the capture there. Uh, finally, John gets in on top of the Sucker, and a nice kill will finish that yeah, off. Definitely a nice kill. I do believe the Sucker dropped Uber Charge on that one right there, so Ooh. he had Uber ready. He would be invincible coming onto the point. That would have definitely turned the tides of the battle, but not quite seeing that right now. On the other hand, Pure almost has his uber charge at 96% right now, but we have Jig coming in once again, sapping the mini sentry, trying to get behind the heavy to get an important stab on him. Nice to get those heavy stabs because they have so much health and you can just kill them in one shot. <laughs> Little frozen spy there trying to give somebody a high five. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd want to high five somebody who, who walked up to me looking quite like that, though. A uh, good uber charge, that is going to mean invincibility, even despite the explosions rocketing that demo man up into the air. Doesn't matter. John, going after the sucker once again. I don't think the sucker will get away from this. No, he will not. I think probably, that was uh, a, a, a bullet in his heel. He just, like, tripped on the bullet. Oh, and Plasma taking down him with a nice enforcer shot. We've got the blue team capturing the point right now. Times three, times two on that. A heavy able to put down a lot of damage and a lot of defense to secure oh, the area. Oh, the mini sentry, though. The mini sentry destroying Simon there. He, just, he decided he was going to walk right up to it. Turns out you can't always do that to mini sentries. Yeah, they, they do quite a bit of damage for being so tiny. And we have uh, pretty much everything on the point cleared right now. A full reset. Just one soldier on the point trying to capture it. Engineers showing up as well. Star underscore trying to show uh, some rockets to them. Just say, hey, these, these are rockets, but backing off. That, of course, being you, Star underscore. You played in these matches, and it looks like it was an extraordinarily fun time. Demo Man getting rocketed up into the air once again, and Star, you are dealing damage to buildings as we have... Uh, in fact, now you're dealing damage to snipers. Nice. Yeah, just uh, rocket jumping around the map trying to take down those snipers who usually do set up on the battlements, who can be a little bit difficult for the rest of the team to deal with. But, of course, the soldier can rocket jump, make it uh, around the no. map very quickly, and taking <laughs> down the medic with the market gardener. Big plays, big plays. Who's that guy? That is a ridiculous kill. Of course, you've got you've got entire videos of you just market gardening people to death. It seems like something you practice a lot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have uh, one for this uh, mix-up event in particular. I've got a pretty crazy one on Robin Walker I want to show off. <laughs> nice. I hope we get to... Uh, is that gonna be on Lakeside or we already miss it? Uh, those were uh, pre-game matches where we were just all messing oh. around, so not seen in any of these games. All right, well, right now we have uh, Freddy Wong and Day9 both down. Those two decided they really wanted to kill each other, but uh, they didn't get away with it this time. And at the moment, blue team holding the point very firmly, so it looks like uh, Team Simon is doing a good job. It's all Simon, by the way. Simon did pretty much everything. He is the force behind the team. And it's actually fairly even right now. It's two minutes to about two minutes, so no clear winner yet on this first match on Lakeside. No, uh, a lot of uh, Demo Man spam getting shot down there, and Jig still getting crazy kills. Meanwhile, uh, is that an Uber I hear from Pure? Yes, it is. Pure, the blue medic, he's got an Uber ready to go, so if anybody tries to walk up and claim this point, you can just pop invincibility and say, <laughs> Yeah, at this point, you definitely want to make sure that the, U that the medic has to pop the Uber, because you don't want to fight it. It's good for a soldier to just jump in and bomb him really quick to make sure he has to pop that and waste it on something, because if they try and push right now and capture the control point, they are going to be rejected. They have the Uber, they have 
have a significant yep, advantage, there and there it goes. Red Team's not going to be able to win this fight unless they had an Uber as well, or they pulled out some really crazy stuff. Well, Bank wants to pull out the really crazy snipes, but right now he looks like he might be in trouble. Uh, the Medic actually running up behind him. Pure is going to go for the kill. He hits him with a crossbow, going for the bust of Hippocrates kill, but he actually missed it. Is he going to get the crossbow kill? No, the sniper cleverly escaping. Oh, he just got away. That's unfortunate. It looked really difficult for him to get away, but he just walks away. It's fine. Everything's good. Got away with murder. Pure, uh, Pure, I guess, just gave him a little too much space there. Of course, you don't normally think of medics as being combat classes in TF2, but uh, occasionally you can get some really awesome kills. Here comes an Uber from the sucker, though. He's going to go ahead and pop that on the point and clear a lot of space for the rest of his team to get in and start capping. Yeah, man, this is what we're talking about. It doesn't matter how many people are on point. When you have an Ubered heavy, it, you just... You're gonna push oh, everybody up, but oh, so many kills right there. I think that was actually a crit sticky. One of those showing a little bit of the red on the kill feed, and everybody is cleared for both teams. Three people alive for blue, four people alive for the red team, but it looks like blue uh -oh. team has a little bit more of a presence over here, but Robin is able to push them off and sort of zone them out from this control point. Yeah, Robin Walker, of course, developer of TF2. Uh, he is still up, still running around with that flaming sword that only he can equip. Um, and he does finally get finished off, but not before a crit pill takes down Jig the Spy. Uh, red team needs to cap this point. Look at that, five seconds left until blue team wins. And actually, the most important thing of the match right here is who's gonna win? It's right down to overtime. We have uh, red team, which actually was able to capture the point right there, stopping the blue team. You can see that their time is at zero. The very second that blue team captures the point, they will be the winners. We can see that the engineer right now is trying to get some cap time on that as his sentry gives him a little bit of defense. It's kind of weird that he's the only person here. There's, oh, people from red are finally showing up, but just for a moment, he was the only person in the whole game. Yeah, of course, uh, now blue team gonna get that cap, and they will finish it off. Team Simon defeating Team Robin here in the first round of King of the Hill Lakeside. Yes, I do believe that this is a first to two, or first to three, rather. So if blue team wins this next one, they're gonna be the winners. If red team wins, it's gonna put them into a third match. And we're jumping right into the second match right now to see exactly what's going to happen. That uh, isn't usually how competitive Highlander works. I know the UGC leagues do a first to four or they just do four matches I, I kind of actually forget now that i'm trying to sound smart no you're absolutely right is that especially on king of the hill maps like this it's first to win four rounds but in this case uh, uh i guess it would they just wanted to go a little bit faster uh things things dying already though as the scout john from push tv gets out there and is now laying down on the job He's decided that he just doesn't want to do it anymore. Plasma going up for the stab, and he'll take down one player, two players, helps with the third, and L Plasma being a very solid spy today. Yeah, that was a big comeback for them because the blue team secured that health room, the water room over there, very quickly, which is an important place to hold because there is a large health pack in there, a full health pack, rather. So holding that area, it's a very good defensive situation where you're right next to the point, you have walls to keep you safe, you have medics dying to scouts over here, and it actually looks like the blue team is going to get the very first capture on the point. So, so what's it like to be on the winning team here, Star? I, I feel like a winner. Yeah? That, that really about sums I, it up. I gotta say, when the last time I played Highlander, uh, I felt like a loser because I was not very good. Uh, I was playing Medic, and of oh, course, it gets sound. a little bit frustrating. Oh my god, it does get a little bit frustrating when your team uh, when your team can't win a round, and you're like the Medic, so you're just like, well, I can't get the kills. You should, you should be getting the kills, but, uh, you know. I, w I was always terrible at the game anyway. Yeah, well, you've got some good puppy dog eyes going where people will feel bad for you about doing bad. Like, oh, there you, you go. have to play as the medic on the losing team. It can be a little bit frustrating, but uh, anyway, we've got Freddy Wong coming in right here with the Huntsman. Not using a sniper rifle anymore. You actually do what? <laughs> the what? <laughs> Apparently getting a nice kill, totally, uh, totally random, but getting that kill on the enemy medic, which does help his team defend the point considerably. Uh, there's going to be no heals going on for the attacking red team I'm right so now. I'm so glad you picked that up and started talking because I ran out of words. I did not see the medic. I thought he was just aiming at the spy. I'm pretty sure he was. It's crazy. I guess. Robin wants to go for the uh, the flaming sword kills here, but I guess he is going to have to reload his pipes instead. Takes down John, who just jumps straight into him. He's like, yeah, okay, well, you want to eat a pipe? Here you go. And Robin also getting some good heals right now. Importance of the medic. You can see that he was at about 20 health. He's back all the way up to 129 at the moment. So very important to keep your medic alive, keep everybody healed, and keep things going like oh. that. No backstabs from the spy, but that's just because they're dead anyway. Yeah, you said it was, of course, very important to keep your medic alive, but the blue team did not do that at all. Pure is dead right now, so is his heavy weapons guy, and Simon, uh, our pyro from the Augscast, dead in the water. Now, uh, Ooh, that was Sar, actually looks a like you're getting a couple kill nice kills, but... Long. 
Oh, man. Well, I mean, he's Freddy Wong. Of course he's going to get double kills, man. Video game high school right here. Of course, shooting those arrows out onto the control point right there. The medic was actually pinned up against the wall. You could briefly see the medic, like, lounging as if he were on a couch. Yeah, it's uh, one of the wonderful things about ragdoll physics here in TF2 is that you get some pretty crazy stuff. People are posting screenshots of their various ragdolls all the time. Robin wants the kill. He's going to try and take down Freddy Wong, and he'll get him. And then immediately afterwards, Amended the Engineer runs in and amends his health down to zero. Yeah, Amended has been getting some pretty good shotgun kills. Uh, Engineer really has a very versatile role on Lakeside, where the mini sentry can cover a lot of area, defend the point, but it leaves them open to still do so many more things. They're not, you know, just sitting by their sentry, by their teleporter. It's a rather small map, so they have a lot of things they can do. And Towel, just punching them. Engineer, doing many things. You ever feel like just throwing in the towel? Ho, ho, ho. Should I, should I stop? Should I just stop talking? Yes. I think I should. Yes. Oh, man. We do have, of course, Pierre almost has his Uber. He does have his Uber ready to go now. And as soon as Red Team tries to push this in, of course, remember, they're going to have the Uber to pop on the point. So far, not even feeling the pressure. They've only got 60 seconds left before they win this game. What do you think? Is it going to happen? Um, who knows? I wouldn't know. I didn't play this match. How would I know who's going <laughs> to win these matches? That's absurd. You're not that soldier down on the bottom left-hand side of the, the player list or anything, right? Oh, no, certainly not. But we do have a lot of people from the blue team on the point right now. Pure, of course, has the uber charge. They have a heavy there. It looks like it's definitely in blue's favor right now because nobody from red is even showing up at the moment to contest it. And a lot of them are dead. Uh, the sucker is not going to have the opportunity to even charge an uber charge. It would take about a minute for him to get that. So they're going to have to go in without oh. it. He gets taken down anyway. Scout, Twitch John, showing up behind the heavy, taking him down pretty much all by himself as he was focusing on the people on the point, trying to get up to that control point. And it looks pretty much secured. It looks like uh, it's going to be very difficult for red team to do anything about this. Yeah, they'll probably throw one last ditch attempt to start capping the point, but we got Star going in for the Market Gardener, he gets the sucker! Oh my, Star, that's pretty ridiculous. Well, that's gonna be it then. I think that's GG for all three maps, so of course, thank you for watching. If you haven't seen the other maps, go ahead and tune in. But I have been Sal, joined by Star to bring you guys these TF2 mix-up matches. Ever an honor for me. I, I love doing these. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was an honor to take a part in, and I hope you stay tuned for more mix-up events in the future. We can put those together for you guys. This was the fifth one. Of course, they have been done in the past. Always a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks again, guys. Of course, uh, you can check out TeamFortress.com, TeamFortress.tv for more info on uh, on Team Fortress 2. I love the game. I'm pretty sure Star here loves that game, too. Uh, thanks again, and I'm signing out. Yep, peace out, everybody.